High school baseball coaches across Kansas are once again pushing for more games to be added to their team's schedules, but Acacia Vote denied the most recent effort. I looked into why those who back the proposal keep persisting and why it was rejected just a few weeks ago. I think it's a no-brainer. Uh, you know, I've been in high school baseball for a while now and even played in high school baseball in Kansas, and it seems like it's been the same for since I've been playing or in the early 2000s. So I think it's, uh, it's time for a change. A proposed expansion from 20 to 26 games in the high school baseball season was recently denied by the Keisha Board of Directors in the 33-32 vote. The proposal came from the Sunflower League and would have allowed, but not forced, schools to expand their seasons. A lot of the talking points is we have a, a lot of time to practice in the state rather than play, and they want to see the, the kids get out there and actually compete instead of practicing more than they're playing. Many coaches are looking at the schedule size of surrounding states like Oklahoma, Nebraska, and Missouri, all playing over 30 games a season. Some believe it's impacting how Kansas kids are being recruited out of high school. The states around us get to play a few more games than we do currently here in Kansas, and they feel like they would just want that opportunity to, to be on a level playing field with the rest of the states around us. There's weeks in our season that we don't play about one doubleheader. Another reason for the push is getting pitchers more reps. What we need right now is to develop arms, uh, to develop pitchers. A lot of logistics go into a change like this. When would those take place? Um, do we have enough umpires? Uh, you know, school transportation, budget items. There's that recurring issue across all sports in the state, having enough officials. It, it does get tough, and if we don't uh, continue to try to get more officials in the state, adding more games does get does get a little more uh, worrisome and troublesome. But the one major question those voting wanted to know, why wasn't softball included? Obviously, they're two different sports, but in Kansas especially, the, they, they are tied together a lot. We're both in the same boat, and uh, I don't know why they wouldn't be included anyway. The increase received an 87% approval from 170 coaches who voted back in 2021, and in present day, they say they're doing it for their kids. You know, they want to compete. If you ask any kid that's in high school baseball if they want to play more games, obviously they're going to say yes. I don't know of any kid that's going to say no. Keisha says they've gotten mixed feedback from their student advisory team, and they definitely don't think this will be the last they hear of the idea. I think it just maybe there's going to be more conversation about, hey, if we do this, what does this really look like? And, and warming up to the idea and thinking of adding more games is, is something I think we're going to see talked about more and more. That board of directors voting body is comprised mostly of principals, assistant principals, and athletic directors from throughout the state. The PG